Hi. Today we will see how to work with Flux and Laura. We use the workflow we finished with in the previous video. You will find the link to this video in the description. We will make some small changes to it, and we will do them together, and we will see how it works. For those who haven't seen it, we actually have a group of nodes here that helps us produce a concept that we send to Florence 2. From Florence 2, we produce a prompt based on the combination of these images. There is some word here that is related to Laura, although in all the tests I did, Laura works even without this keyword, but we will leave it anyway. As you can see, it is very similar to what we saw in the previous video, but here instead of working with Schnell, I work with DevFP8. And I also added here the Laura loader model only, with the help of which we add the Laura we want to work with. Another small change, empty latent, but you can also work with VEN code, as we will see later. What I open now is the same workflow in Numic PC, and we'll see how to work with it assuming you don't have a GPU and a powerful enough computer, and you want to play with these tools. This Laura, called Midney, is trained on a very specific dataset that includes blur and smeared lights. There is a relatively nocturnal atmosphere here, so I named it Midney, and I really like the combination of this style in many of the photos I checked. What you see right now are pictures that compare Flux with Laura and without Laura. Because most of our data set is of women, many times we will get a female character and not a male one. Here, for example, the hair and backlight look great, but the hands are a bit ruined by the use of Laura. It depends on the strength of the Laura, and it is something to pay attention to. Another Laura I did is called Leftover, based on less good quality images with blur and dirt that give it a gloomy and maybe a bit apocalyptic feeling. The pictures are not of high quality, which greatly affects the result, but there is an interesting style here that I like. Here you can see a comparison between Flux without Laura and Flux plus Laura leftover. All the tests I did are with exactly the same prompt and with the same seed. The only thing that changes is the addition of the Laura and its type. Here you see more examples, which really demonstrate the effect of the Laura on the final effect of the image. You can see that even the details on the screen appear with older graphics due to the use of Laura leftover compared to the use of Flux only, which gives a slightly cleaner result. Let's go back to the workflow and understand how simple it is to use. As I said before, many encounter the problem that their computer is not powerful enough to run Flux with Comfy UI. One of the solutions I found is to work with Mimic PC, a cloud service that allows the use of GPU. I made a video about it before, and I will include a link to it in the description of this video. Mimic PC allows me to work with Comfy UI as usual, only the calculations are done on the GPU in the cloud. The service is paid, and it is important to make sure you have enough credits to activate it. If I'm not mistaken, you get $5 to start. The beauty with Mimic PC is that I can share the workflow with anyone after I've built it. And you can start working with it immediately without the need for complicated installations or special settings. You simply select the photos you want to work with and press Q. While this model is loaded and the workflow starts working, let's understand how we work with Mimic PC from the beginning. You first register for the service, check that you have enough credits, and then click Add New App to create a new Comfy Portable. All the installations you make on your Comfy will remain saved. If you want a new project with new settings, perhaps for other clients, another workflow can be built. I'm using a slightly more powerful GPU here, so I choose the large option and click Create and Start. The process of uploading the servers can take some time and immediately get the basic workflow of Comfy. And we can continue to build on it what we want. In the meantime, you can see that the workflow is progressing. We have the base image, the character and the background are basic paste and not particularly high quality, but it's just a reference. Here you see the text that Florence 2 extracted from the combination of images. In this case, we work with the image to image process. We take the combination of the images and transfer it to the latent space. 
I work with denoising at a level of 0.7, so the result still relates to the original figure and composition, but not too accurately. Note that I accidentally worked with a different LoRa, Flux Realism LoRa, so we'll change that now. Although the result is interesting, it is not what we wanted. Let's switch to the LoRa I created called Midni and do the exact same process to see the difference in the result. We will continue with all the same settings, and we will only change the LoRa that connects to the model. Immediately we can see if there is a difference in the result. Let's go back to the previous server. As you can see it's up, we'll open the workflow we worked on in the previous video, and this will be our starting point. After loading the workflow, there is an error message from CONF indicating that nodes are missing. Just click on Install Missing Custom Nodes in the Manager menu and choose Install. It takes a few seconds and then a relaunch must be performed. Meanwhile, in our image, you can see that the change from the LoRa Midni has created a completely different atmosphere compared to the LoRa realism we used before. Let's now try the LoRa leftover and compare the results. In the Mimic PC interface, you can follow the running workflow. In this case, there are two workflows running at the same time, and each of them can be stopped or continued. It is very convenient when working on several projects at the same time, which significantly shortens the work time compared to working on a single computer with one GPU. Now we see that the picture is already starting to form. After installing the missing nodes, we will relaunch now we see that all the nodes have been loaded successfully, and the workflow is ready for work. It's worth remembering when working with Mimic PC, the node we used in the previous lesson to save the image is less relevant here so it's important to reconfigure save image to save the image properly. All the images we will save now will appear in the output folder, which of course is currently empty. And let's add the LoRa loader model only node. Here is a list of LoRa's that are on Mimic PC's servers. Let's connect the spaghetti and we'll see how to upload your LoRa. Open the folder menu on the top right and simply choose the desired folder. In case our model and LoRa and now just choose upload and the desired file, it can take some time, depending of course on the size of the file. After the file is uploaded, you need to relaunch, then you will find it in the LoRa menu. And as I mentioned before, those who want to use the workflow we saw right now can click on the link in the description of the video. You will reach this page on Mimic PC. Click on apply, choose the server you want to work with, more powerful of course, more expensive but also fast more, press create and start, and start working. So I hope you learned, and we will meet in the next lessons. You are more than welcome to ask questions, comment, and like if you liked it. And most importantly, have fun! Bye!